yes i was fired from my workplace because of stealing because of stealing money guys welcome back to another video today we have another story time you guys love story times and i also enjoy giving them so we're back with another one i think this is my third story time on this channel and i'm happy that you guys are watching them before you get started kindly like the video share it with your friends and also watch an ad or two i said that i will always be reminding you guys so please don't be bored if i remind you to like the video and to watch the ad because that's how we make money if you see an ad just let it play i know ads are annoying by the way i know they are but if you want to uh, to support me more just watch one ad i'm not even asking you to watch all the ads that are placed just watch one or two okay so i recently posted a poll on uh, my community tab and i asked you guys what you enjoy watching the most so the first most voted poll was living alone diaries i enjoy filming those so much so i was so happy that you guys also love watching them and then the second one was story time so i was like ah these are my people they enjoy watching what i film so yeah we're back with another story time so like the title reads yes i was fired from my workplace because of stealing because of stealing money guys let me give you the whole story. Let me give you the whole story before you start judging, okay? <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. And honestly, I cannot believe that I am exposing myself like this on the internet. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm still going to give... Do you know what, guys? By the way, my pastor watches my videos and I'm low-key scared that he's going to watch this. And yeah, he's going to judge me. But I'm still going to give out this story. Um, yeah, let's let's get started right so there's this place that i used to work in town uh it's a long time ago it was a restaurant and i used to be like a front office lady like semi-receptionist so yeah that's what i was doing the way i got that job was through a manager we used to work with another place but it was so easy to secure that job and the pay was really good back in the day and when i actually think about it right now i'm like whether that job used to be really nice and i can't believe that I screwed it up by stealing. But guys, let, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So yeah, that's how I secured the job. I was organized by a manager that we used to work in another place. But then if you know Kenya, putting in a good word for someone is so powerful. It's more powerful than having like all these papers. So I remember I secured that job within one day. I just called my manager, like the manager that we used to work with another place and I told him I was jobless, I was looking for her. And then I was like, you know what, this is perfect because there's just a position that has opened up. Whatever you're doing right now, just stop, go make your CV and then you come to work. Not to work, like you come for the interview tomorrow. So he gave me the details and everything. I went for the interview and I secured the job. And I was so, guys, I was called the following day and I had secured the job. Like I'm telling you, this Kenya, just know people, just know the right people. So yeah, I remember I started work on Monday and it was a pretty nice job. I had stress. I had a kazi mingi, like it was just perfect. So I remember the first time, the first day I reported to work, the manager called me. Um, and he was like, I just assumed he wanted to like, you know, take me through what I was supposed to do. So he called me, this is the manager that I had called, just have in mind that you got to before because you used to work in another place. So he called me in the corner and was like, how do you find work? Um, what do you think about it? Is it nice? And of course I was happy guys, if you have been jobless for a long time and then you secure work, you will be happy. So yeah, I told him I was quite comfortable with the work, everything was cool, and then he went ahead and, this is the Monday, this is the first day guys, he went ahead and told me um, there was something that he wanted to talk to me about, and he wasn't sure how I would take it. So the first, honestly, the first thing that came into mind, I was like, uh, this guy now wants to ask for something dodgy because he had secured the work for me that's what i thought honestly so i was like okay let me listen to him because i wouldn't lose anything if i listen so he went ahead that's what i thought he wanted to tell me so he went ahead and he said um I, I want to talk to you about something and i don't know how you're going to take it so i was like okay sure tell me 
so he went ahead and told me that that hotel had a system of how things worked and i was like okay so i was low-key relieved because i was like ha, oh, it's not what i was thinking it was so maybe he just wants to like brief me on the work ethics and whatever whatever so he went ahead and he told me so this hotel has a system has has <laughs> this hotel has a system that works and we would like for you to be a part of it and i was like okay i'm listening so he went ahead and he told me <laughs> he told me that um because so because i was a receptionist i was also in charge of rooms like uh rooms yeah rooms uh so anytime a client wanted to use a room of course they would pay me and i would put the money in the system like you know how it goes when you are a receptionist so that was mainly my work honestly so he told me that there's they, there was a system that worked and they had regular clients that came to use the rooms during the day and i was like okay that sounds nice i mean there's work that's nice so he went ahead and he told me so these clients when you wanna kuja mchana we usually keep the money we make the rooms and then we sell them again for another client who might want to use the room like now overnight I was like okay I, I was still not understanding what he was saying and then he said that so the money that you sell the rooms during the day we get to keep and tunagawana to give with you utakuwa unagawana pesa na the manager who will be on duty oh my god it was a long time guys so i don't think it's illegal to say this yeah so it was a long time so yeah he told me that zile rooms zenye utakuwa unauza mchana you will be una gawana na the manager who will be on duty that particular day because can you imagine like in my head i was thinking um is this legal like what i was so confused because it was the first time i've ever heard of such a thing like stealing but yeah of course i know people steal but like this was a whole manager telling me how we were going to steal so i was a bit confused and in all honesty i was all on board because like i've mentioned i had stayed for such a long time without work i was broke and yeah this was an opportunity presenting itself so i, I was a bit of, i was a bit confused by it, but i was on board i was like all right let's do this but let's do this <laughs> So he briefed me and he told me like how things work. So that was the system that he was talking about. I did not know, honestly. But in my mind I was like, ah, okay, so let's make this money. You know what? Let's make this money. Guys, please don't judge me. Okay, don't judge me. So and then this was the manager. You know, I was also low-key scared that he would fire me if I didn't do no, no, I'm lying. <laughs> no, 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 no. In my mind, I didn't even think. Of not doing it because this is money we were talking about imagine how much you know in my mind i didn't even think of how much money we were going to make all right so he briefed me and anytime a client would um so like he said they had regular clients so they knew clients were they used to call them shorts while you want to do clients were shorts like short short shorts like so imagine this Nairobi by the way people what, what yeah, people can see i remember i used to see one client that would come even two three times a day with different ladies for 30 minutes and i'm like what? anyway i was minding my business honestly I, I was just there for the money i was minding my business so the manager used to know the client the regular clients so anytime i would get a client in an impair room the manager would come down and tell me this is this is one of ours like anytime he would say that it meant that it's he's a regular client and of course as i stayed there for longer and longer i also started knowing our regular clients guys we used to make money we used to make money let me give you an example imagine if a room is going for 5k and um <clears throat> that day you have like three clients so that's 15k 
and then you make up the room again and then kwa system it shows that the room has not been used because one the room has only been used for like three hours two hours one hour max and then you make the room again and then you sell it so technically even in the system no one would know that the rooms have been sold you know so imagine if you sell one room for 5k you've sold it to three clients for 15k and then your pesa mnaeka tu kwa mfuko so mnagawana 15k you and the manager 7575 now imagine 7575 and guys we used to get a lot of clients i'm telling you we used to have so many clients it's crazy like that business was booming honestly i don't even know how they came up with th that whole idea of we buy your pesa me just found a system and i was briefed and i was like all right cool let's do it <laughs> So yeah, we used to make so much money, guys. We used to make so much money. So he continued like that. I was comfortable. I remember I even furnished my house. Not this one. Not this one. Is even to say yes, you can see see no one of it was active, okay? But that other previous house, that time I had not even started YouTube. It's a long time. I remember I even furnished my whole house. Like that job really had elevated me. Like if we met, you could tell that I had money. I remember there was this one time that the people we were working with those people that we were working with were not part of the plan they used to ask they used to ask us hey nakwani you guys kodi do you guys have extra jobs on the side that you usually do cuz the way you're glowing and we didn't even used to wait for like our end month salary because guess what we have the money we have the, we used to make so much money like on a bad day maybe 5000 5000 to make like i've said the rooms are going for 5k it was a pretty pretty decent high end hotel so of course even the people who are coming there were quite high end you know so um, back in the day back in the day so imagine on a bad day we used to make like 2525 cuz got na gawana now i don't know about the cuz i used to exchange with another guy when he was night shift that guy we never talked about East half so me i didn't i don't know if they also used to do that but that year ya kufanya hivyo it was only for me and the managers the managers so even the other manager when you go night shift was in on it because they used to exchange like that like the manager who organized me the work angekuwa mchana sometime ako usiku so of course if the two managers were in on it bro we used to make money we used to make money i think it was a good job honestly it was a really good job yeah so like i've said we continued like that we used to make our money i used to look for so much to go into work because of making money eh and your money money is a really great motivator i remember i used to wake up and i'm like i cannot imagine how much i'm going to make today i'm a rich woman like i used to feel like i had so much money <laughs> i used to deposit money in my mpesa account every single day And funny enough this there was this empress that was uh, around where I, I used to live and that lady one day had the audacity to ask me the type of work I was doing because I was depositing money so much imagine and I'm like what do you do in Nairobi no of course I told her like it was just a receptionist job and I told her ni vile to tunapata a lot of tips and she was so shocked because it was a lot of money guys like Imagine even depositing like 30k a day, 25k, 20k every day. I and a, and a bad day maybe 3k, 5k. Like she was even asking, "Eh, hey, Kwani, what type of work do you do?" But anyway, yeah, so we were making our money. Oh my god, even the manager was driving. I don't mimi siku fika point yenye I was driving because nilikuja hapo. I think they've been doing it for such such a long time. The two managers were driving. Like you could clearly tell they were they were looking good. Like you know, you know how you can go to a restaurant and just look at the manager and know that they are getting paid well. Yeah, that was the case. So we continued like that. I finished my whole house. It was it was honestly such a blast. Making that money was so easy and it was so sweet and it was so good. Yeah. Until one day, you know, sema siku za mwezi ni 40. Yeah. Siku za mwezi ni 40. Until one day we were caught. One day we were caught, guys. And our whole world came crumbling down. It was hectic. It was crazy. Let me tell you. So we used to have this kakashia. Kalikwa kakashia my word was she by the way like an accountant. Okay, yeah, she was actually an accountant. 
and to be honest from the first day me i didn't vibe with her she was a lady Ugh, ladies i didn't vibe with her she used to have like a certain attitude people are saying that she was um seeing the director and it made sense because the way alikwana jiske you'd think the hotel belonged to her hey women <laughs> women so there's this one time apparently her office and where the rooms were zilikuwa zimekaribiana this is what i'm assuming happened because just listen to the story and you'll know why so there's this one time that we sold a room of course we took the money but they, i don't know if i've mentioned this but we also used to involve the um, what are they called room cleaners no there's a name for them um the people who clean the rooms of course we had to involve them because if a room ime to me like same ime to me today we you have to call the room cleaner to clean to replace the soap and the towel and everything else so we used they also used to have a cut but ilikuwa ngapi pesa kidogo because of course the more the money the more the rank that you have the more the money <laughs> it was unfair honestly if you think about it but that's the system that i found and yeah so we used to involve them so there is this one time that we had sold a room and that room ilikuwa karibu na that accountant's office so the client of course used the room and um we kept the money as always so i think these guys had uh, realized that there was something dodgy going on because i don't understand why she kept that room room number in mind so of course tukatumia pesa we made the room and then in the system nikasema room haijao so the lady when she came in the morning ku chukua stock and everything how many rooms did you sell where's the money things like that i can i remember her asking me na room some 312 cause kwa system inaonyesha na i had sold it i told her uh, yeah here is a part of I could but land and till this day this is when I'm realizing that she asked because she had noticed it was sold in my mind at that time I did not think much of it I was like ah mm, yeah whatever plus cuz uko na pesa uko na kiburi uko like ah girl you cannot tell me anything okay but kumbe she had known that we were doing this so akajijazia and then like i've said i didn't think much of it so she asked room 312 come be ayo but we just tried and then we just continued with our day and that just passed and then after a week i think up to sunday those guys started really like investigating so after a week <laughs> the director came down and told me the director himself guys akanembea um hi how are you doing come i'm good uh we would like to give you an off um don't come to work on monday it was actually on friday and my off days was on saturday so he told me don't come to work on monday eh nikashindo wow so nikamwambia what do you mean don't come back on monday don't come back to work on monday come on tuesday and before you even settle down just come straight to my office Bro, that weekend I have never been so anxious, guys. Like being fired is one thing. Even if you have money for stability, being fired is just crazy. So that entire weekend I was crazy. I was talking to the manager. I'm like, what if they realize that we've been doing this? What am I going to do? Nini nini. Then the manager is like, "Ah, you don't worry. They can't have figured out. You just chill. There's nothing wrong." So nini nini. All right. So <clears throat> that whole weekend na kwambia I was anxious. I've already said that. So Tuesday kafika and I reported to work. I went straight to the office. <laughs> Guys, I have never been so politely fired. Like I was fired at this job. Yeah, that guy. Like they were so polite about it. So I went to the office and I found the the director, the manager and also the accountant. Guys. And I was like, do I really need that this job? You know now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, Ugh, I wish I I didn't even like show up. Your Tuesday I didn't show up. Like, you know, you just quit on end okay. But I remember it was end month and I needed that money because it's money that I had worked for. Even though I had all this other money that I had stolen, I still needed the money that I had worked for for the books, okay? So 
I found the three of them and I just knew the shit was going down. I even thought the manager was also in trouble. I just knew the shit that shit ha was going down. So I got into the room and the director is like, hi, how are you doing? He was a guy, very polite. Still this day, I remember how he fired me and I'm like, bro, that guy was so... He was so polite. Because now I'm thinking, if they actually called the police, guys, I could be locked up. I could be locked up as we're speaking. Um, so yeah, so he called me in the room. I think they didn't know even how many rooms we had stolen. I think that they just, re maybe they even thought it was just one, that room, the 312. Boy, did we? Hmm. So Nikanya, how have you been doing? Like, how was your weekend? Like, it's so polite. And I'm like, oh, I've been good. So no, we've realized that you don't have a passion for this job. We've realized that you're not passionate about this job. And in comes what do you mean passionate? We've noticed that you're not passionate about this job and we would like to let you go and we hope that you find something in the long run that you're passionate about because you're clearly not passionate about this. Guys, it's a receptionist job. Like, where is Shinwana Kazi a receptionist? So I straight up knew that when you come to me my rooms, like, I just straight up knew, oh, yeah, we've, we've screwed this one up. Um, yeah, so, of course, you know, what do you mean? I can be, yeah, we, yeah, you've heard what I've said. We've realized that you're not passionate about this job and we would like to let you go to find something more passionate. I guess I found what I'm passionate about. <laughs> I guess I found what I'm passionate about because um, YouTube, hello. But, yeah, that was that was crazy. And, guys, when you cut up a room, Imagine. Well, you room, oh, so your like my amount, the amount that I was getting paid, and I cut your room, and that's how I lost a job just like that. It was really such a nice job. The pay was decent, nanikafuta to evil because they realized that we were stealing. So I was lucky mad because I was like, um, where is the manager just seated there and he and Alibingiza kwa e mix? Like I didn't even know this was happening. He's the one who got me into this. You know, of course I couldn't say that because um, I didn't want to ruin it because I was like, well, maybe this manager is on your some other time. But I can't even here. And he clearly knows the, the, the problem. He, cl he clearly knows what was the problem. Maybe I need to take so I didn't want to burn that bridge. So I was like, ah, it's fine. I went home. I cried. <laughs> I cried. I couldn't tell people that I was fired because I had stolen. Guys, it's such an embarrassing story, honestly. Imagine you telling people that you've been fired because you were stealing. Like, that is such a bad look. <laughs> You're a thief. You are a thief. Like, can you imagine? Yeah, so... Um, I never told anybody. I just nearly sema to I even lied to some of my friends that the hotel was closed. But no, really, it is because I had stolen. It is because I was a thief, and that's how I ended up um, losing my job. It was pretty decent. It was nice, and that's what happened. Honestly, guys, am I embarrassed? I am. Honestly, I am. I'm not a thief. I honestly, I am not a thief. But sometimes, I don't know, this, is that, this establishment, sometimes they just push us, you know, they just push us. But yeah, honestly, this one I'm blaming myself because I could have easily said no. Of course, I've, I had already secured the job. So he, if I told the manager, you know what, no, I'm not going to do it. There's nothing he could have done about it. Of course, he would have given me a bad eye one day, two, three, four, five, six, and then he gets over it. So I'm um, entirely, purely the one to blame here because I went on board to steal money. But guys, I enjoyed that money for real. I enjoyed that money. I'm not going to lie. Just ask my friends the way I used to treat them, by the way. Gaso, you remember, I had a friend that was called Gaso. Hey, I used to treat them. Oh my goodness. Hey. It was a fun time, honestly. And now we only have experiences and stories to tell. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, the story time of how I was um, fired for stealing money. 
uh, and uh, yeah guys we've come to the end of the story time i hope you enjoyed watching kindly kindly like the video so that it can be shown to other people i think i've explained so many times of how like the algorithm works if you show youtube that you like the video then it's going to like show other people and other people and other people so that we can grow this channel and uh yeah we've come to the end of the story time and i'll see you on uh, my next video bye